right, this titration is different from a one-to-one -one mole to mole ratio in that it's a one to two mole to mole ratio and so it's done in much the same way but we have to consider that one to two mole to mole ratio when we're doing our calculation. So here's the setup. This setup says that if 26.35 milliliters of standard sodium hydroxide, that's 0 0.1650 molar sodium hydroxide is required to neutralize 35 milliliters of H2SO4 What's the molarity of the acid solution? So here's the, here's the deal. We've got 35 milliliters of H2SO4 in the Erlenmeyer flask and a little bit of indicator so that we can recognize when the color changes, the end point of the titration. In the burette, we've got our standard sodium hydroxide. That's 0 0.1650 molar sodium hydroxide. We're going to start dripping sodium hydroxide into the Erlenmeyer flask. When you get to the end point of the titration, the color will change. We'll know the volume of the sodium hydroxide, 26.35 milliliters. We know the molarity of the sodium hydroxide, 0 0.1650 molar. Multiplying volume times molarity equals moles of sodium hydroxide. Then we're going to use the mole to mole ratio between the sodium hydroxide and the H2SO4 to figure out how many moles of H2SO4 are in that Erlenmeyer flask. Once we do that, all we have to do, divide by the 35 milliliters of solution volume. We'll have to convert that to liters, and that will give us our molarity of H2SO4. So first things first, we need to figure out how many, how many moles of H2SO4 are in the Erlenmeyer flask. Now, I apologize for my handwriting. This is harder than it looks. We, uh, we put 26.35 milliliters of NaOH into the Erlenmeyer flask. We need to convert milliliters to liters and then we're going to multiply this volume in liters times our molarity for the sodium hydroxide and it's 0 0.1650 moles and remember this is NaOH per one liter. That's the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the mole to mole ratio to figure out how many moles of uh, H2SO4 we have. Now we get the mole to mole ratio of sodium hydroxide to H2SO4 from the balanced chemical reaction. So this is moles and this is H2SO4. All right, so we pull out the calculator. We take 26.35, 26.35, we divide by 1000 and then we multiply times 0 0.1650 and then divide by Two because of the mole to mole ratio and that says 2.17 times 10 to the minus 3 moles so what that's telling us is that we have 2.17 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of H2SO4 in the Erlenmeyer flask now what we're going to do is we're going to convert our 35 milliliters to liters by simply dividing by a thousand milliliters per liter and we get 0 0.0350 liters. We'll go ahead and divide <laughs> by 0 0.0350 liters and when I do that I get a concentration 
of 0 0.0621 molar. So that would be our uh, x, x moles per liter of the H2SO4 is 0 0.0621 capital M. All right, so that is the long way around, and it's an extraordinarily reliable method. What we're going to do now is we're going to use uh, this, uh, this little bit more uh, efficient version uh, to calculate the concentration. So uh, it's a modification of the dilution formula. So here we go. I'm using the molarity of the NaOH times the volume of the NaOH, and that is equal to two times the molarity of the H2SO4 times the volume of the H2SO4. Now, if you don't understand why the two has to go here, uh, you can uh, you can work on that concept a little bit until you get it, or you can trust me. And the reason that that two goes here is because we're actually looking for the molarity of this molecule, not the molarity of the protons. And so, what I ultimately have to do, uh, if if I didn't have the two there, if I just left it as a one to one what we would be calculating the molarity of is the molarity of the hydrogen ion. But each H2SO4 molecule has two hydrogen ions. So ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the molarity of the hydrogen ions in half to get the molarity of the H2SO4. And if that doesn't make any sense to you, that's perfectly okay. Just, just work on it. I'm sure that you will get a handle on it. So we're going to look at the molarity of the H2SO4, which is going to be the molarity of the sodium hydroxide, uh, which is 0 0.1650 molar, times the volume that was required to neutralize the H2SO4, and that's 26.35 milliliters. And then we're going to divide by two times the volume of the H2SO4. So that's going to be 2 times 35 milliliters, which is 70. And when we work that math out, we wind up with exactly the same answer, 0 0.0621 molar in H2SO4. Well, there are two methods for doing titrations where you don't have a one-to-one mole-to-mole ratio.